You're watching WKBN, 27 First News, where your news comes first. Now, in high definition. Welcome back. Time now for our Live at Five segment. And joining us today is First News contributor Dr. Michael Seville. And you're here today because of these new energy alcoholic, alcoholic energy drinks, I guess is what they're called. Like Four Loco is the only one I've actually heard of. But I guess there are quite a few different brands and they're causing some problems. Some college students across the country have ended up in the ER after drinking them. What makes these so much different than your average like beer or other alcoholic drink? Well, in these, uh, in these products, uh, they have a lot more alcohol than what college kids or what people would think. Like in one of those cans, um, I've read that uh, as much as a six pack of um, alcohol equivalent to beer is in there. On in the, one can? In one can. In one can. Mm -hmm. And on the caffeine side, uh, they've said that there's enough uh, caffeine in there for a cup or two of coffee. So you combine those two and that's where the problem comes along. So what's the deal with combining the caffeine? Alcohol is a depressant. So when mm -hmm. you combine caffeine with something that would naturally be a depressant, what's mm -hmm. What happens then? That can be dangerous. It, it is when when people they, they think they're drinking the alcohol and they they have some expectations as far as what they're going to feel like as far as you know, getting a little bit slower or slurred speech that type of thing. But they don't feel that um, because of the caffeine, all the caffeine in there. So they think that they feel okay. So they keep drinking or they get behind the the, the wheel of a car or you know do high risk type of things. So they think they're okay, but they're actually not. And I've also read some uh, reports too that. It's caused some heart attacks in young people because it's so much caffeine because they keep drinking. So it's not just that you're drinking more alcohol than you think. It's even can be bad for your heart. I didn't realize that either. Mm -hmm. Now, with college students especially, we often see binge drinking and problems with that. How would this contribute to that? You uh, kind of already said it. It's just mm -hmm. one can. You think you're drinking more, but right. beyond that. I think this is a little bit more dangerous because with binge drinking, you know, sometimes um, if you do that for a long period of time, it can really catch up with you. But you use one of these products once or twice, um, it can be a real problem as far as medical problems as far as the heart is concerned. So should people just avoid these things altogether or is it something mm -hmm. that maybe they could try every once in a while mm -hmm. and just know that you're drinking one, it's basically like you're drinking six? Yeah, I, I think a lot of education uh, has to go along as far as you know what people should feel like uh, when, when they're drinking this. There's been four states that have banned this already. I don't think that's really the answer. I think it's it's educating college students, people about it. it it's not drinking the product, it's irresponsible drinking of this product and I think education is the key about what to do about this. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Michael Seville. If you haven't heard of Four Loco, now you have, and you can always go to our website to find out more about it. We'll be right back.